Hey, it's Marion. I'm a client coordinator at our Charm City Cakes West location, and today I'll be sharing with you how I made this watercolor cake. For the supplies, I'm using a piping bag fitted with a French piping tip, a number 32, a bowl of indigo buttercream, and you only need a few tablespoons of this, some gold luster dust mixed with vodka or lemon extract, and a scraper and a small offset spatula. To begin, I'm spreading some indigo buttercream on the top of the cake. And for this, I am using a cold cake. A cold cake creates a more rustic finish, whereas a room temperature cake will result in a smooth, more water-like finish. Next, I dotted some more buttercream on the sides of the cake. And as you can see, my cake has these ridges because I didn't completely smooth it. And I actually kind of like it. It reminds me a lot of indigo tie-dye, which I really love. Because I wanted to pull back on some color, I spread some white buttercream on the top of the blue buttercream. Then I just finished the edges of the cake. If you want to learn how to make an ISA cake with Swiss meringue buttercream, we'll link these videos in the description box below. And then I went ahead and added some splatters of gold luster paint by flicking a small paintbrush dipped into the paint. And then I added a rosette border using a French piping tip, a number 32. And if you want to learn more on how to pipe borders on a cake, we'll link our buttercream borders tutorial on the cards on the top right corner of this video as well as in the description box below. And I finished it off with gold sprinkles. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next one.